Hey lovers, this is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Eye Tarot, here with the bi-weekly uh, reading for all the elements. I feel like I've been gone so long, I don't even know where to begin, y'all. Please forgive me. I know that I was supposed to be back in May, and I had did some of the monthlies, and then retrograde hit and fucked me all up, literally, okay? Um, I ended up opening up another business, and I've been swamped with that, but... I never forgot about you guys, okay? On top of that, I'm also trying to um, start up a new channel because I know I've been dropped from the algorithms. When you, whenever you don't, you know, post for a long period of time, and you guys know I went on a hiatus for a while. Whenever you don't post for a long period of time, it drops you to the lowest percentile. So the people that are subscribed to me don't get my videos when I do upload. They're like, Bella, you know, we didn't even know you uploaded a video. So I'm working on that, trying to fix that at the same time, trying to run this other business and make sure that's successful, okay? On top of that, y'all guys know my baby, my only child, um, she's graduating. She went to prom uh, the day before yesterday, and um, she looked beautiful. Maybe I'll upload some pictures so you guys can see her if you don't have my Facebook. Um, also, uh, she'll be graduating on the 18th, okay, and then off to college August the 21st. So, I am swamped right now, guys. I am swamped, so please forgive me. Anyhow, now listen, for those of you that did a uh, timestamp on the last bi-weekly that I did, I believe it was for the beginning of May, I will go back and I will choose my two free winners of 30 minutes. So, once you see this video go up, Make sure your timestamps is done for the month of May, okay? Because I will be going back to choose my winners. I didn't forget about you guys, okay? This is the Dream Keepers Tarot deck. One of my newer decks I didn't get a chance to use yet. Sometimes I feel like I don't read tarot for so long that I just, I, I forget what all the meanings mean. But it's just like riding a bike. As soon as you pull it out and it starts to line up, it's back to the regular. Anyway. All right, so happy birthday to all of my Geminis out there. Um, if your birthday runs in the month of June. Um, also, if you were the ending of May, I know that I didn't get anything up in the end of May. I believe I got your reading out, though, uh, Gemini, for the month of May. But I don't think I got anything uh, towards June or whatever. But if you have, uh, um, if, you ha if you're a Gemini and you have a uh, May birthday... I will extend for about two weeks for you to get the birthday monthlies, okay? Because I know I was not here for like the last three weeks, four weeks, some shit. Okay? Now, to reserve that, hit me up, all seeing at tarot at gmail.com. Make sure you put May birthday for the Geminis, okay? Also, I won't be doing any Taurus because I already had um, time to do you guys, Taurus's birthdays, all right? But if you are a May Gemini, I will be extending for two weeks on out to get you for the monthlies, okay? Hit me up, allseeingitarot at gmail.com. In the subject line, make sure you put your birthday month. I'll send you back uh, the birthday 60, okay? And get you in as soon as I possibly can, okay? I'm not doing any daytime readings. It will all be nighttime, so it's pretty much after 8 p.m. That's when I'll do all my readings, except for on the weekends. I'm off Saturday and Sunday, so... Um, I have more time to move around uh, during the weekends, okay? All right, so here we go. First up, I have my ear signs. This is for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I had a little cousin um, get involved in something also in the beginning of May. That threw me off. Like I said, this retrograde really hit me really hard. Um... The craziest thing happened with uh, one of my family members. They, uh, well, she actually uh, committed murder to one of my other cousins on my dad's side. So I was dealing with that for a while. And like I said, when Mercury, Mercury went retrograde May 10th, and I'm not one that's usually affected by Mercury retrograde, but it seemed to be like all around me. So my cousin, she is an air sign. She's an Aquarius. Uh, she's one of my greatest supporters here on YouTube. She watches all my videos. So I just pray that God works that out in the greatest light possible. All right, so here we go. Let's get into it, y'all. 
Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so it'll take time. So I'm thinking about this while I'm shuffling cards. Okay, and Spirit is still speaking to me. The Knight of Pentacles is going to take some time, pretty much. All right, let's go. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see what's happening with my Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is running from June 3rd through June 17th, I believe. <clears throat> June 3rd through June 17th. Show me the pulling down in my air element. Mercury is no longer retrograde as of yesterday. So that's good. You can relieve some of that pressure. But um, that's not to mention some of you Geminis are probably coming off of that retrograde. So you're probably dealing with some of those leftover energies uh, today, which is the 4th. Aquarius, June 3rd through the 17th, the Hermit, Three of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands. Under the Hermit card, we have the Judgment card. Under the Three of Cups is the Two of Swords. Under the Nine of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus. I'm picking up a lot of Virgos. Um, if you are Gemini, I, I'm picking up those relationships very strongly. Under the Six of Wands, we have the Four of Cups. Under the seven of wands is the high priestess. And then there are those of you that are Libra, Gemini, um, and Aquarius that could also be dealing with singleness. You just, you know, uh, recently came off of a breakup. You don't want to deal with anyone. Six of swords. Okay, that would explain coming off of a breakup, feeling like you don't want to deal with anyone. Now, hold on. Let me get this lighting a little bit better. Oh, shit. I don't know if you guys can see it when I turn that light on. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so. The first thing that comes to my mind. Well, first, let me just reiterate the cards. Just in case you're just tuning in. And um, you can't see the cards over here. So we have the Hermit. Judgment. Three of Cups, Two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Four of Cups, Seven of Wands, the High Priestess, and the overall energy being the Six of Swords. Now, I'm going to say this. Um, I'm just going to read to you what's coming in, because this is an intuitive reading, so I, I just got to read to you pretty much uh, what's going on in my head or what I'm hearing, okay? So I want to speak to those of you that may be Libra. Uh, you could also be an Aquarius. Um, I'm, I'm going to just stay there. Libra and Aquarius, all right? So some of you may have had a previous relationship with a Capricorn or a Taurus individual, all right? Um, and that relationship, it kind of looks like it's a very toxic situation. To me, it looks very toxic, okay? It was toxic. However, there was some time apart here with the Hermit card, and the judgment is all about recognizing your flaws or how you contributed to the relationships falling apart, all right? So it's kind of like you feel like you grew up. You realize what you did wrong, um, and they also, it could be them that recognize what they did wrong um, while you guys are on this separation or this hiatus. I'm going to say two to three years, okay, of a breakup, all right? So this can be anybody... Um, that has recently returned that you haven't been with in two to three years, okay? And it's a Capricorn Taurus. So when this person comes in, or you run into this individual, this could have been at a cookout. We had uh, Memorial Day just passed, uh, Easter also passed, um, not to mention Valentine's Day. We had a lot of holidays that, you know, came about that, that gave ample opportunity for you two to run into each other again. You kind of felt as if this is a new beginning for y'all. You know, we'll start over again. We'll, we'll, you know, now we're mature. We're more mature. When we jumped into that relationship, we kind of jumped in with blinders on. We were young and we made a lot of mistakes towards one another. 
Okay, so you've been praying consistently for this second opportunity, the second chance with this person. Any event that you are dating or you were dating Capricorn, okay, or Taurus. I'm going to say Capricorn or Taurus. Something happened within this section here. Looking at this Nine of Pentacles, you could have found out that this woman um, is pregnant. That's number one. Um, also, you could have uh, seen that this woman or, you know, man elevated their status. Like, <laughs> they own their own business now. They're doing really well right now. And back when you guys weren't together, you weren't doing so well. So I say that to say this because I was going to go the whole different direction. But I'm just showing you how spirit works. It pushes out of me what it wants to talk about. Regardless to what I may see on these cards or what I want to say, it will still use me as a vessel, just as a mouthpiece. All right? <clears throat> um, the feeling that spirit wants you to realize or recognize, okay, especially with they're taking me back to this blood moon that happened. I believe that happened sometime in May, maybe about a week or two ago. The blood moon um, happened. It was like a, a solar eclipse plus blood moon. If you were on the southern hemisphere, the southern eastern hemisphere, um, what is that, like Atlanta, Texas, uh, that area, you would have seen it, okay? But us up north, I'm up north, northeast. I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so I didn't get a chance to see it. But those are also energies that affected the outcome in the situation as well. There was a lesson in this, um, how do you say it, spring equinox. There was a lesson that was supposed to be integrated by you who are Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and you are dealing with earth signs, okay? And you had this harsh breakup, all right? Maybe last year around this time, it wasn't so good for you two to come together. But this year, it kind of gave you a false positive. What I mean by false positive is, you know, you start to think about this person, even if you're in a new relationship, you started to think about this person a lot. And then all of a sudden, it kind of looked like you ran into this person and you guys started talking again and you guys are being a little nicer to each other. And you may have took that as, all right, then this is my second chance and we're going to be together. But something happened, okay? And I'm going to say something devastating, something very heartbreaking. Could have been for the uh, air sign that's involved in the story, all right? Because... With this Nine of Pentacles, this is all about singleness, all right? And it's sitting over top of this Capricorn Taurus. <clears throat> this is all about singleness and um, doing things to better yourself. But then I also have this Six of Wands with the Four of Cups. So these four clashing kind of says to me that maybe you found out that your ex is pregnant by someone else, okay? Um, you found out that they moved on into a new relationship. And this is one of those type of relationships where everybody can see it. Um... And it's not a very, you know, despite what you may be feeling, um, air sign, you know, they moved on, they're happier with that person. That person makes them happier than me. I don't get that sense. The reason I don't get that sense is because the six of ones is to be out vanity um, or returning to the old neighborhood, seeing that your ex is dating someone else. But with that four of cups, it kind of says to me that there might be a bit of um, embarrassment on your ex's part. OK, because they don't feel they upgraded on you. Um, they may feel like they jumped from the frying pan to the fire, sort of say, okay? Um, so I don't want you to, to walk around and feel as if I've done everything. I tried to do everything to show this person I've changed. Like, I, I can't take it no more because I could definitely see you flying off the handle and acting batshit crazy with the seven of wands and sort of pushing this Capricorn Taurus back into their shell, all right? And, and some of you probably already done it if you haven't. <laughs> ran into this person, you probably already done it, where you were just like um, trying to force it, you know, uh, trying to throw up in your ex's face that you've, you've changed and trying to make them realize that you've changed and why don't they give you a second chance. And this came off as sort of like an argument or a standoffishness, okay? Now, for some of you, it's not pregnancy. For some of you, it's just that your partner elevated and they're doing a hell of a lot better without you. Now, as I was saying, uh, with this spring equinox, this um, uh, Mercury retrograde, along with that blood moon all hitting at the same time, the lesson in that was to recognize um, when you are a part of a toxic situation, when you are with a person, and although you may feel like this was the one for you, it kind of says that they weren't the one for you because when you were with this individual, you actually did a lot worse than you're doing now, okay? So... Spirit wants you to take a look at yourself and see where you have come, see where they have come, 
and realize that this just wasn't the individual for you okay so so you're doing a lot better they're doing a lot better and you're better apart than together okay all right so another thing i want to speak about those of you that are single okay i, I have something coming up for some of you um females i'm going to say the females of the air okay this could be uh gemini libra aquarius any of you there there's some singleness okay and this could be um a bit of frustration and it could, you know, uh, ping off of what I just said as, as far as like the ex return and, and you seeing them in a relationship with someone else. And instead of looking at it as, as a second chance for you, you actually start to beat yourself down, air signs, okay? You start to feel as if uh, you're not better than that person that they're with now or um, they didn't want you because of some flaw that you're carrying in your head. Not even that they think about you, but it's a flaw that you carry. Okay. So what it looks like to me, looking at that seven of ones with the high priestess, it's kind of like you didn't put yourself into a little box and you just don't want to be bothered at this time. Now, that could be for those of you that are uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that are dealing with earth signs. Okay. This could be an ex-earth sign. All this energy is really about the ex, to be honest with you. However, I wanted to target singles because the way that this thing looks like it works is the ex may have been a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, okay? And you guys split up. And you've put, put yourself so far in the shell that you have your guard up and you're not able to see what spirit is bringing along to you to help you to get out of that rut that you're in. All right, so you need to be careful of that because it could be another earth sign that is trying to come in that um, has the potential to make you feel good all over again and, and, you know, make you feel beautiful and make you want to date again, okay? But if you're still focused on that ex, you're having some issues and you can't overcome uh, the pain and the, and the uh, trials and tribulations this person puts you through, then you need some help. Hit me up. I'll sing at tarot at gmail.com, okay? That's what I'm going to say for you air signs. Now, remember, that's going to stand very strong for those of you that are dating Earth. And the majority of air signs are probably involved with Earth signs, okay? Nine times out of ten. Because if it was someone else, they would have gave me another zodiac sign. But they wanted to focus completely on Earth signs, all right? Happy birthday to those of you that are Gemini. I will say that um, if you are in a relationship, if you are in a relationship and you're, none of that resonates with you. But I am in a relationship, Bella. I'm a Gemini. My partner's Virgo. Um... I just been I just wanted to know is is this going in the right direction because it kind of felt like you know we were meet, being met with a little bit of friction. I am going to say to you that was part of all the energies that were coming in. The spring equinox, the um the blood moon as well as the mercury retrograde, all that hitting at one time kind of put you a little bit at odds with your partner. This day moving forward, June 4th moving forward, you're going to see your relationship start to look a lot better. All right, so don't panic. Don't break up with your partner. Um, if you absolutely just have to know, and it's like, Bella, no, I feel something, something is wrong, then hit me up, gmail.com and get yourself a fly on the wall, okay? All right, guys, I'll be back with the next element. All right, I'm going to say this because I, I know I forgot to say it, but make sure you hit the thumbs up, like the video, make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed by now and you're just a new person coming to check me out. Make sure you hit that subscription button, okay? Now, if you want to win a free 30-minute reading, this is the video to do it on. All you need to do is timestamp when I start each element, all right? So I just did the air signs. Rewind to where you see me shuffling the cards. Not when I'm talking, but when you start to see me shuffle the cards, grab that time off the screen and do the same for um, each of the other three that I'm going to do, okay? Now, once you've grabbed everybody's timestamp, you need to look down in the comment board and comment on one passage when I started air, water, fire, earth, okay, and put the times next to it, all right? That gives you an opportunity for me to come through and check those of you that did it properly the way that, you know, I'm telling you to do it and you don't have earth signs here and then five people down, water signs here. No, don't, don't do it like that because I won't look at you. I'm telling you the truth, okay? Keep them all together. Um... If you are chosen to win a free 30-minute reading, I'm going to tell you congratulations. It's going to come from me at All Seeing Eye, and you have a week to reserve it at allseeingeyetarot at gmail.com, okay? All right, moving on.
Next up, we have my water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Happy birthday to all of my Cancers whose birthday runs in the month of June. Remember, all month long, you automatically qualify for the birthday special if you have a June birthday, all right? Not just because your birthday is June 26th or, you know, June 28th. Don't wait until that time to try to reserve your monthly. No, you can reserve it today, June 4th, as long as your birthday is in the month of June. Okay, Cancer? All right, so here we go. Let's see what's going down. Spirit and universe, what are the messages you have for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? June 3rd through June 17th. Give me a bi-weekly read. What's going down in these next two weeks that water signs need to be prepared for? Show me. The cards are so new. They hurt like shit when I'm trying to shuffle them. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Ooh, one fell out. I'm going to take it. Okay. Four of Swords fell out, and I'm going to take that as the overall energy, okay? I'm going to take that. All right. Two, one, three. Okay. Here we go. Ace of Cups. The High Priestess. The Three of Cups. Three of Swords. The King of Cups. Oh, this is interesting. All right. Under the Ace of Cups, we have the Page of Swords. Under the High Priestess, Ace of Swords. This is the worst camera, I swear. Okay. Under the Three of Cups, the Star. Under the Three of Swords, Death. Under the King of Cups, the Hermit. All right. Now, at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to take that Four of Swords energy and I'm going to match it with whatever is at the bottom, the Empress. All right? Four of Swords and the Empress. All right? Now, let's talk. Let's talk, my beautiful water signs. Put those right there. All right? Four swords in the Empress. Okay. Water signs. All right. So let me give it to you raw and I'm going to give it to you straight. As I'm laying the cards, the energy that comes up is it's time for you to step out and go for what you want. All right. Whatever that is, be it a relationship, be it a person, uh, be it start a new job, be it go for the bag. I don't know. Go to the fucking casino, gamble, whatever it is. All right. It is no longer going to come and flirt with you. You understand? Meaning that it's no longer going to just make itself openly available right there in your face. Because it has in the past. And with it coming closer to you, um, instead of engaging in partaking of whatever gift that was given to you. Like I said, whether it be a relationship, a job. Instead of partaking in that. Instead, you just chose to play it safe and to sit back. All right. So, for instance, let's just say it's a relationship. Say it's uh, somebody you have a crush on. You've had a crush on this person for a very long time. Well, this person has a crush on you, too. And every opportunity that was presented to the both of you, the other person came after you. All right. So when they came after you, instead of you saying, you know what, I feel the same way. You didn't do that. What you did was, oh, OK. Oh, that's how you feel. OK. You had to constantly search and look and make sure that you were not going to get your heart broke. And sometimes you waited too long, you know, over the years. You waited so long that the opportunity was taken from you in a lot of circumstances. Okay? Now, whoever this particular individual is, this has been haunting my uh, water signs for a while. Okay? So this is somebody that you guys, it is a woman, so this is for a lot of my water sign uh, men. It's a woman because I have the high priestess here. And then we also lead with the empress, okay? So, um, this could be your ex-wife, all right? Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Hold on, guys. Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> I got interrupted. <laughs> for the wildest warning. I'll just say the wildest warning. But definitely pertaining to this, absolutely. All right, so where I was saying was, um, basically, 
when you had that opportunity for that person, whoever this woman is here, okay? It could be a man, it could be same-sex relationship, whoever takes the feminine energy, all right? So I'm reading the masculine energy. Now, whether you're a female and you are the more, more dominant, it could be you, okay? And your man could be the feminine energy. That's possible, very, very possible. That's how it's possible for same-sex relationships to happen. All right, one person is going to be the divine masculine, the other is going to be the divine feminine. Okay, so don't get mixed up. All right, so anyway, so the divine masculine is looking for this divine feminine. Okay, this high priestess energy and ace of swords. Looking, looking, looking for a second opportunity to communicate. All right, finally, when you get up the nerve and you're ready to approach this person and tell this individual, I feel the same way you felt. All right. Um, now that you're ready, it seems like the universe is not in sync with you. All right. So listen very closely because I'm talking directly to your soul. It's not that the universe is not in sync with you. It's just that the universe is tired of playing games with you. For some of you, this has went a very, very long time. Okay. Of you holding these emotions for a person and not being direct towards them. Okay. Not, not telling them I'm feeling the same way. So I could imagine that the other person, the divine feminine on the other end of this receiving this behavior from you probably is very confused and probably feels as if you don't want anything to do with her. All right. She's probably very confused. She probably does not see it the way you think you gave off. You think in your mind, I gave off the proper energy to let her know that I like her. No, no, you didn't Linda. No, no, you, you, you rejected it. All right, she takes it as complete rejection. So what it has done is it's made her pull back and she's not coming out until truth comes, okay? So that means that the next time you run into her, all right, the next time you run into him that has the feminine energy, you are going to have to lead the conversation, all right? You you're gonna have to be ready, all right? You're gonna now, because it looks like a shift in energy. So it kind of looks like, you know, um, this divine feminine wanted for a very long time to be with you and, and tried everything in order to get you two together. And when she was trying, you were rejecting. So now the energy has changed. So now she's rejecting and you're wanting the opportunity to get the two of you together. All right. It's not on your timing. You guys have to stop playing with this thing called time. All right. Period. All of you. You have to, especially water signs. You have to stop playing with time. You Tomorrow's not promised. I thought I would be turning 40 with my best friend. Um, unbeknownst to me, she had an expiration date in 2018, okay? I just don't play with time anymore, all right? So every opportunity that comes your way, just know that it took the angels and your spirit guides a lot of energy in order to synchronize and put you in the same spot together, all right? So don't take advantage of that and say, oh, well, fuck it, I'll see that person again because you don't know when you're going to see that person again. For instance, me and my twin flame, the last time I seen my twin flame face to face was August 26, 2021. All right. And I'm sure he's looking and he's like, oh, can I run into her right now? I know he's looking, but you know, I'm not going to waste my time anymore. All right. When you want me, you come for me, period. And that's the way we're going to move from now on. All right. And I sort of like what your divine partner is saying to you. When you want me, come for me. And I know that you're yearning for this person. We got a three of cups here. We have the star. This is you yearning for another opportunity. I need a reunion spirit. I need God, please bring this person in my vicinity now. I'm ready now. Okay? Well, you got to prove that you're ready now. All right? So let me tell you how that's going to look. When you feel that you're ready now, at that moment today, right now, June 4th, 2022, you're ready today. All right? But spirit has a tendency to say, no, you're not. You're not ready. And they'll push this thing all the way to August 16th. All right? August 16th. And now you, you're tired to death of waiting for an opportunity with this person. And you're feeling like this person doesn't want anything to do with you. You blew your opportunities. Okay? Now they'll present you with something else. Are you still going to be faithful to that thing there? Or are you going to run off with the something else? That's why spirit takes a very long time to deliver what it is that you think you're ready for or that you think you want. Because what you don't realize is that the divine feminine, well, that divine, divine, divine feminine had to reject all of those other opportunities in order to still focus on you. Okay? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. All right? So the better way to look at it, and those of you that, you know, you be in relationships and you're trying to figure out if your partner is cheating, let me tell you something, and this is very, very accurate. I've known this to be very accurate. When you want to know if your partner is cheating on you, 
All you have to do is look at what's coming after you. Because the way spirit does it is when two are connected, whatever temptations they send to him, they're going to send to you. Whatever temptations they send to her, they're going to send to you. All right? Now, both of you are not going to respond the same way. Some of you are going to, you know, fuck up and, and take advantage of that temptation. And the other one may say, hell no. I'm, I'm backing out. I'm waiting for this one thing. All right? But you'll always know what's going on in your relationship, your union, by what is being presented to you. What type of um, energy are you surrounded with? All right? Now, if you don't have any opportunities, you don't have anybody else trying to get with you, then your partner doesn't have anyone else trying to get with them either. All right? That's just a little food for thought just to throw that out there for you. Okay? So, anyway, we got the Three of Swords and the Death card. All right? Now, this is painful communication painful communication and i want i, I got my my clarifying deck out because i want to clarify what's going on here we got three of cups this is you waiting for a reunion and the star this is having hope you're hoping that you guys are going to come together and then it kind of looks like to me that maybe you end up do coming together you know with the three of swords because we got the king of cups going back into hermit mode all right so this could be also, with this four of swords and the empress, this could be that she doesn't come out of hiding. She doesn't because you don't pull the right strings of the universe. You know, your prayer is not as um, impactful as you would like. Clarify that three of swords for me. Let's see that three of swords. Show me the scenario, scenario surrounded around the three of swords. Come on. The Hierophant. Oh, no, that's the Emperor. I'm sorry. The Emperor. I don't know why I said Hierophant. So this is Divine Masculine. We got the Tower. One more. Six of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. All right? So I'm going to tell you how this looks. Like I said, it's the Divine Masculine that is praying for the Feminine to now give them a second chance. I just told you how spirit works as far as spirit will say, no, you're not ready. And they make this thing go way farther. Today you're ready, June 4th, 2022. Now they don't let you run into this other feminine, divine feminine, until August 16th. By that time you're frustrated, you believe that, oh, well, fuck it. You know, I I'm just going to see what wants me. I'm going to want what wants me. And you fuck that situation up. All right? Because we got the Six of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Nine times out of ten, this is going to represent... It's kind of like, the way I see it is like, let's say you have a crush on two different people. They're both from your past. They don't bring this divine feminine, the one you're praying for, the one that you really want a second chance with. But they bring this other person that you used to date back in the day. They bring that other person back. What it looks like to me, water signs, is that maybe you are going to choose to go after that other person. It's possible. All right? It's possible. Or the second scenario could be that your divine feminine is getting um, tempted by someone else from the past. So somebody from her past returns and she decides to walk away from you and go towards the past. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And that's why, let me show you. It doesn't matter if your divine feminine chooses to go back with the ex. Okay? It, 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 it's kind of like Cinderella. When it comes to the shoe, you remember how the, the prince took the shoe to every... Um, other princess's house or child's house and they all tried to put their foot in there and it couldn't fit the shoe didn't fit until we got to cinderella and her shoe fit perfectly so it's the same scenario so even if you decide I, and i can't take this shit i'm not seeing my divine feminine fuck it uh, you know maybe it ain't for me and you try to go after something else from your past it's not going to flow properly okay we got the king of cups and then we have the hermit so nine times out of ten spirits going to pull you back into seclusion solitude Okay, take you back to the drawing board, make you go through this process all over again, and help you to be able to recognize what's for you and what's not for you. Okay, because when they did test you, and they will, okay, if you listen to what I'm telling you, I'm speaking, I'm speaking in parables, but I'm speaking so direct that a lot of you can, you know, you know what I'm talking about. They take you back into seclusion into solitude the hermit is not just about being alone the hermit is about reflecting on what i taught you oh goodness hold on y'all 
Sorry, y'all. I'm getting so interrupted. I don't understand. As soon as I start doing videos, everybody want to call me. All right. So basically, um, so basically what I'm feeling is that for a long time, I have been speaking to water signs about going after what makes you feel uncomfortable. Water signs tends to be very biased, so they go after what makes them feel very comfortable. But what makes you feel very comfortable usually tends to carry soulmate energy and it doesn't last very long. So the best thing for you, knowing that you're a water sign, knowing what you're here to incorporate, which is to be in control of the emotions, you need to go after the thing that you're meeting with resistance, with the thing that feels um, electrifying, almost uh, the thing that makes you feel like you can't control it thing that you're afraid of okay you need to go after the thing that makes it feel more resistance instead of what makes you feel very comfortable in the past and I'm sure growing up depending on how old you are you went after all the time the things that made you feel comfortable and look what happened you still ended up single you didn't end up happy some of you got married to those things that made you feel good at that moment and then only to you know, get sick of it within a couple weeks or within a couple months. All right. So spirit pulling this water sign. And I don't think it's going to be all of you. I really think it might be Scorpio and Pisces is the ones that may fail this test. Okay. Scorpio and Pisces. Um, I think that spirit is going to sit you down and kind of reflect or uh, make you remember, um, how long it took you to run into this sense of perfection some of you are legally married you're still legally married right now and you're in a separation all right so I, like i said i feel like it's scorpio and pisces that's legally married right now and you're separated from your partner there's no communication and some of you are trying to get out of this marriage maybe you're trying to rush out of this marriage because you're you're feeling like um there's something better out there for you but spirit is trying to uh, hold that off be aware of when you go and you file for a divorce and then there still seems to be a delay and you can't get divorced right away be aware of that because spirit is trying to tell you there's still some lessons that need to be learned within this marriage you can't just hurry up and catapult out of this situation into something better especially if you haven't passed this test of what you got going on all right now, that's for those of you that are legally married, and some of you, you're spiritually married to whoever this high priestess person is, all right? You're spiritually tied to this person, and you know whether you're spiritually tied. You can't get them off your mind. You're always thinking about them, even though you guys are not together. You know, it might be something weird, like um, you've never been with this person sexually, or you've never been out on a date with this person, but yet and still, you still feel like you're having a relationship with the person. Pay attention to signs like that. All right, that's that's the 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 fear and the resistance. I like to call it beautiful gifts wrapped in ugly wrapping paper because it's not something to easily digest. All right, it feels kind of like uh, maybe this ain't meant to be. All right, the stars don't seem to align when you guys come together. It just seems more like um, uh, electrifying, you know, like when you get up on a roller coaster and you're riding down about to go down that hill, you know, them butterflies when your stomach drop. Yeah, pay attention to signs like that because nine times out of ten, those are the things that God, Spirit, wants you to get involved with, all right? They want you to master uh, those type of relationships, all right? I hope I made myself clear. I'm sorry about the interruptions. Um, if you're stuck in this energy and you just need some help and it's like, Bella, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm supposed to wait for this person. I don't know if I'm supposed to go after this person. I, you know, I'm, I'm praying for a second chance. I know I may have fucked it up in the beginning, but, you know, how long is spirit going to hold this against me and not put us together or not? You know, what am I supposed to do in this time of separation? You know, I'm used to having something on the side. Another thing with water signs is you may be used to not quitting a job unless you have another one backed up that could be everything in life meaning that you know you don't leave a relationship unless you have you know uh one lined up all right so you in this particular situation this is a very powerful union okay a, a union that is filled with many lessons life purposes life lessons okay um sort of like a lifetime partnership or a life partner all right. So it's it's filled with many lessons and these type of relationships do not come together um, as fast as soulmate connections do. You know, sometimes these two people are split for years and it's appointed for a, a certain time when you grow up and you're older. You know what I mean? And, and that can be very um, uncomfortable because, I mean, just looking back to my union and how long this thing has taken 
taken it it drove me absolutely bat shit because it's like okay what are you here for you need to die motherfucker like why are you on this earth and we're not together i don't get it like i, I can't seem to move on when i move on you're haunting me in dreams like i'm doing something wrong or i feel like i'm cheating so what is this for you know it took me a long time to understand my twin flame and my journey it uh, it took me a long time because it don't it does not look like regular relationships it does not look like boy likes girl girl likes boy boy and girl hooks up boy and girl comes together boy and girl decides that they don't want to date but boy and girl sees each other later on in life no it don't look nothing like that okay because most of the time you don't have any proof all right so those situations i'm gonna tell you this keep your eyes open for situations that you may be involved in all right that you have no proof of why you feel the way you feel about this person you never went with them never had a relationship with them you know, um, never got a chance to be alone in a room with them, but you got these strong ass feelings. You better pay attention to that. That usually signifies something that is given from the divine, given from God. All right. That's a spiritual um, uh, uh, evolution. All right. You're evolving, constantly evolving. And, you, and, and nine times out of 10, it's a union that's supposed to be meant to teach others of divine partnership and how it's supposed to look our relationships the relationships that god will put you a part of remember god's thoughts are not your thoughts some of you be some of you be praying to god about people that's not good for you you know what i mean and then god puts the person in your life and they devastate you they hurt your goddamn feelings you know and, and then you break up with them and then you end up wanting them back and praying for years and you're holding on to some shit that's toxic that's not really for you but then here comes this one situation where you don't understand it. So you run away because it's like, what the fuck? This is weird as shit. Like, I've never been with this person. I can't explain this to nobody. I look crazy. I look obsessive. You know, so I want you to pay it. this. We are living in the era of divinity and partnership in the way that God intended for relationships to be. So they look totally different than what our ancestors or our family members um how they got involved with people, all right? This is the new era, we're in a new age. Um, and divine, divine partnerships, you gotta be able to know the difference. And like I said, the way you know the difference is, I don't have anything that gives me solid proof on why I feel this way about this person, all right? Now, if you can sit back and tell me, well, Bella, yeah, I hooked up with him when I was 14 and we did have sex and okay, well, now that you're 26, there is a reason why you have feelings, all right? You fucked them already when you were 13, all right? So that would fall in the same scenario as everybody else's relationships. But if you hooked up at 18 and then you didn't have sex, something came in the middle and it split you two apart, okay? And then you hooked up again when you were 26 and, and you couldn't get together. Something came in the middle to split you apart, all right? Now you come out and you're 38 and, and you're in love with this person, but you have no proof of why you should be in love with this person, that's divine partnership okay all right guys i love you much i hope you enjoyed this make sure you like subscribe and make sure your notification bell is pressed if you would like to win a free 30 minute reading make sure you timestamp below when i started each element i'll be back with the next element welcome back bella thank you guys next up we have my wonderful fire signs this is going to be for leo aries sagittarius june 3rd through the 17th let's see what's going down with my fire signs spirit of the universe what are the messages you have for fire leo Aries, sagittarius for the weeks of june 3rd through the 17th of june 2022 show me what's happening First out, we have the fates. This is the Wheel of Fortune. The King of Pentacles. Six of Swords. The Star. Six of Cups. Okay, under the fates, we have the Nine of Cups. Let me move this because this is not looking right on the screen. 
Okay, under the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Nine of Cups. Under the King of Pentacles is the Seven of Cups. Under the Six of Swords is the Moon. Under the Star is the Hierophant. Under the Six of Cups is Justice. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the High Priestess. <laughs> the High Priestess is coming up in everybody's reading, literally. Let me try to get this closer. There we go. Okay. The High Priestess is coming up in everyone's reading, okay? It's just that when it comes to Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, my fire energy, she's leading. She's leading. She's the overall energy, and it's probably because some of you are buried in work like myself, you're busy. <laughs> um, it could also be that some of you did not prepare correctly for a partner, for a relationship, for a divine partnership. And spirit has you uh, tucked away learning lessons or getting yourself together. Okay? Now, the reason I say that is because of this King of Pentacles being over the Seven of Cups. So, this is all about, you know, the King of Pentacles is all about uh, preparation. Uh, being ready to go into union, being ready to get into a relationship, being ready to become a wife, all of that, all right? And with the Seven of Cups, it kind of says that, you know, um, if you're anything like me, you probably focus too much on when it was going to happen instead of actually being ready when it does happen, okay? Um, so we have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Nine of Cups. So uh, the Wheel of Fortune speaks of divine timing. All right, so if I was to read it uh, linear or the way that it's going, it would say that your opportunity has come around. All right, June, it's June 4th right now, so your opportunity is there. It's resting. It's sitting on you. Everything that you ever wanted, everything that you ever demanded uh, of the universe, um, all that you have suffered for, you have it. It's here. It's here. All right, the opportunity is here. However, like I said, with the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, it kind of states that, you focused more on when it was going to happen instead of what it is that you actually wanted to happen. All right. And that's usually how fire signs get down. You know, we get anxious about something. We want something to happen. We don't know what the fuck we want to happen. But, you know, we don't focus on what we need to do in order to prepare for this thing that's happening. All right. Sending our partners kind of aimlessly wondering. All right, so if I was to look at this King of Pentacles as your partner, Fire Sign, it would say that your partner is kind of confused right now because he or she is there at the resting place. They are there at the destination. They're at the bus stop, but your ass is not there. All right, you're not there because while you were going through the boxing match, your ass was standing on the ropes. Okay, you were standing on the ropes. So now the time has come and now you're just like, um, you're not ready. Then we have the Six of Swords with the Moon energy, and it's kind of also representing a little bit of fear that's taking place here for my fire signs, okay? You ever want something so bad that you don't anticipate or prepare um, for when you do get it, like how you're going to act? You, you know, you kind of get scared of what the fuck you're asking for. This is fire sign energy all day, okay? We can want somebody, have a crush on somebody, want this person or want a man or whatever, and as soon as we're in front of it, oh, shit, we get scared, all right? We are afraid. And the moon card popping up on that Six of Swords, Six of Swords is pretty much saying that this is a time of reconciliation between you and your divine partner, whoever that person may be. It could be a fire sign, it could be a water sign, it could be earth, anybody, all right? Um, this is about fire signs and relationships, okay? Your partner is now ready to come back to you, ready to uh, reconcile the situation, meaning ready to talk, um, ready to realize or they've recognized the six of swords they've recognized their part in the falling apart of you guys and now they're ready to discuss they're ready to implement a plan the moon card the reason why you become afraid is because um, you don't know you get afraid of it you know when something looks a certain way if you've always been rejected by your partner if your partner's a narcissist and they always blamed you for everything you tend to live in that energy you, you don't open yourself up for the possibilities that the story may not go the way you anticipate. All right. So in your mind, you may be saying, OK, well, I'm going to meet my dream husband and I'm going to meet them. Why go into the department store and I'm trying on a pink dress, 
you know, like you plan, that's your plan, but then you don't meet them at that fucking store, all right? You meet them coming out the fucking store on your way back to the car. You didn't anticipate or plan for the situation still coming, but not coming the way that you had it played out in your head. I hope that makes sense to you guys, okay? So we have the star and then we have the Hierophant. Now, the good thing about the star and the Hierophant says that spirit is still in control of this situation. So regardless, even though you got cold feet, even though, you know, you didn't prepare, even though you stood on the ropes the whole time you guys were uh, divining and evoluting, you know, um, I don't know, you didn't prepare for the way, a possibility of it coming up a different direction, spirit still has your back. All right. So when you see that hyperfent there, know that this is still being orchestrated by the divine. So they are still putting this thing together. They still have their hands on this situation. All right. Even though you're not seeing your partner right now. Okay. So right now you might be afraid because you feel in your heart. Oh my God, something's happening, but I'm not there. I'm not dressed yet. I don't have the right clothes on. I'm going to lose it. Please, Lord, don't let me lose it. Please don't let me lose my opportunity. And God's saying, you're not going to lose your opportunity. I promise you, you won't lose your opportunity. All right. But there's some lessons or there's some things that you still need to learn that you cannot take into this powerful uh, relationship. You need to regurgitate it. You need to get rid of it because it's no good for you. It's not going to work out for the two of you. Okay. And spirit is all about perfection. So, you know, when they put something together, it's built to last. All right. So they're not going to let you get your unprepared self into such a high, important union. All right. So they put it on hold for you. Six of Cups in justice. Okay. Now the Six of Cups is just representing that maybe this thing started a long time ago. All right. A long time ago, you were prepared for this person. You were going after this person. You were initiating. You were fighting for this individual. But over the over time, you gave up. You gave up because you kept going to the same spot and they were never there. All right. So justice is more so about you're going to get what you deserve. We know what you put into it. We know how important this union relationship is for you. All right. We're not going to let you destroy it. We're not going to let it come together before it's time. And despite the fact that you may feel that you're a no-show. See the high priestess? That's you, fire signs, okay? You're a no-show, all right? You're in the house. Um, your hair's not done. You're not dressed to go outside and, and meet up with your guy that you find out is in town, all right? The person that you've loved for many years, you find out he can, came back to your town and you're not even fucking ready and you're frustrated because you're thinking you're going to lose this opportunity altogether. But if you think that spirit did not anticipate or did not predestine, uh, prepare for this sit situation to happen, meaning that they didn't have this already written down in your card of fate. You're sadly mistaken. All right? You cannot destroy what is yours. You cannot mess it up. You cannot, the only thing you can do is pretty much delay it, but you can't lose it. You can't lose what's for you. All right? So, fire sign, I know that spirit may have you um, like I said, they have you a lot of diff, a lot of us in a different scenario, you know, like some of you may have to had to take a low paying job, something less than, you know, what you're used to receiving. Some of you have your own business like myself and you're, you're maybe you opened up another business, but it doesn't even bring in the same amount of business or the same amount of money that, you know, your original business does. Okay. Maybe you had to take a back seat from the original business. You don't even understand that spirit has you working at that job, not so you can make more money, because most of you, you can't even fucking spend it. You're so busy, you can't even cash your check and go out and enjoy the money you're making, all right? No, they have you doing that so that you can learn discipline, so that you can learn how to be every woman, meaning be the wife, be the mother, okay? The divine partner, the best friend, all of it, all right? And some of us fire signs, we lack at that. Fire signs, although we are said to be the baddest bitches in the zodiac sign, we're really not. I'm going to be honest with you. We don't know how to do, a lot of us don't know how to do two, three things at once, okay? Meaning that you don't know how to love more than one person at the same level of energy, all right? Somebody's going to suffer. You don't know how to have a husband and have a child that is pulling on your energy. Somebody's going to suffer, all right? So some of you, you know, you dedicated all your time, your energy into raising your kids. Now your kids is grown. They're going off to college. And now you ain't got no man. 
All right. So now spirit has to take you through an obstacle course, a, a fast obstacle course. Not one that's going to take a very long time because what you have, you know, um, solidified for yourself in the past, what you've worked towards, you know, the 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 um, the the lessons that you've put into your bank will always stay there. It's there collecting interest. All right. For a time is this. Now your kids are about to go out to college. Your man is ready. All right. Now spirit got to create an obstacle course. OK, well, let me put her in this job that requires discipline, that requires that she get up every morning at seven o'clock in the morning. Meanwhile, you're used to getting up at 12 noon. All right. Now, every day you got to get up at seven o'clock in the morning. All right. Making significantly less money. All right. But it's not for you for money. It's for discipline. It's for being prepared to be able to do all things, not just one thing, not just focus on one thing and the other suffer. I have a very hard time running this all seeing eye tarot business and having a relationship. I do. I do. If you guys been with me for a long time, then you know. Yeah, well, once Bella's focused on one thing, something is going to suffer. And it's, mostly it's her business. Okay? You guys know that about me. If you've been with me, this is my seventh year. And you guys know me. All right? If I get involved in something, it's hard for me to focus on all of it at once. I just started up another company. Now, what's, what's happening? I've been gone for weeks. But spirit needs me to learn how to start up a new company, run this business still, run that business, and also prepare for my twin flame. They need me to do everything. So what are they doing? They're whipping me in shape. They're taking me through obstacle course. And in the meantime, I'm suffering because I'm not seeing my twin flame. I'm not running into him. And I'm getting phone calls. Yo, your twin flame is back. He's back in town. He's there. Uh, he's looking for you. And I can't be over there. I can't be over there at the time. Okay? So it's very frustrating because I feel like, oh, my God, am I going to lose this? But even this reading is spirit, you know, um, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Re, re, reinstating or letting me know we got you. I know that we gave you another job, and, and both jobs are taking up all your time, okay? But we got you. We, we know what we're doing. There's something that you missed while you were hanging on the ropes. While you was too busy trying to hurry up and rush this thing together, you didn't anticipate how you're going to handle it once you get it. You didn't even prepare for that because you were so eager to hurry up and get it together, okay? And Twin Flame life partner those relationships are different than like a soulmate or a catalyst they're totally different they come up a totally different avenue all right and and they don't carry the same dynamic that a soulmate or a, a catalyst relationship would carry you know with soulmates and catalysts you still got the jealous thing on you you worry about cheating worry about looking better than somebody else well with twin flame it's a lot different you're not worried about being jealous because you know that you are the dawn okay you are creating what temptations need to be in your twin flames life or in your life in order for you to learn the lesson you no longer look at it as cheating all right you're a graduate now you know that you are in control of this situation so it's a totally different situation that spirit is trying to put you in when it comes to these twin flames. All right. And you need to be prepared for it. So what I'm here to tell you as my fellow fire signs, I know you're getting frustrated and I know you're getting afraid. Even some of you are in relationships right now. You're in a relationship with someone. Maybe you're dating a Capricorn or a Taurus. All right. Maybe you're Aries and Sagittarius and you're dating this person and you feel like spirit is separating y'all. You know, maybe you took on more hours at work or he took on more hours at work or she took on more hours at work. And, and it's like you guys are not spending as much time together as you used to. So you are afraid that you're going to lose your relationship. OK, you're afraid. Oh, my God, my relationship is suffering. You know, I was planning to get married, but it's like spirit is separating us. We're not in the house at the same time. Spirit knows what it's doing. It's not doing that to make you guys separate. It's it's doing that to teach you to be more disciplined, because as I stated before, fire signs are known to be ADHD, ADD, elemental P, all that shit in one. OK, you don't focus on just one thing. You know, you, you you can't focus on multiple things. You you focus on one thing and you try to do your hardest at that one thing. And spirit is trying to teach you something different. They're trying to teach you to spread your eggs out amongst all the baskets. And that is hard for a fire sign to do. All right? Now, if you need some more therapy on that, all right, or you need some reassurance, 
You know, is this for me, Bella? You know, is God trying to rip me from this relationship? Or is God just trying to separate us to build more character? Do I need to be stronger? Hit me up. All seeing out terror at gmail.com. Get you a fly on the wall. Okay, if you want to know if this person is cheating on me, who they're cheating with, what did this person do last Friday? That's a fly on the wall. But if you want to know, what do I need to be learning? What's the lessons I need to incorporate? What lessons is he learning? That's a spiritual analysis. Okay? That's totally different. Two different readings. All right? Hit me up. All seeing at tarot at gmail.com. In the subject line, just put which reading you're going after. Down in the description box under this video shows you the pricing of each reading. And I didn't change it for this year, so it's the same as last year. Okay? I haven't even had time to go around and change it. I just figured leave it the way it is. Okay? All right, guys, I love you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this, all right? It's only two weeks. Hopefully by the 17th, the energy has changed and you guys are in union or you're with the love of your life or, you know, something positive has happened. I don't see this as negative. I just see it as, I like to call it nothingness. My sister laughs at me all the time. She's like, what do you mean nothingness? It's nothingness because you don't know what the fuck is going on. You don't know if this person still love you or still want to be with you. Nothing is happening. You can't see the person. You just don't know. It's just nothingness. You can't find the person. You can't feel the person. You just don't know. You're just totally lost, blinded in the dark, navigating through the dark. All right? Like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. You want a personal reading, all sing at tarot at gmail.com. You want to win the free 30, make sure you timestamp when I started each element under um, the comment section. All right? Keep it all in one pass that you guys already know. All right? And I'll be back with the last reading. Welcome back, Bella. Thank you, guys. Last but certainly not least, I have my wonderful earth signs. I apologize, Taurus, for cutting your month short, but I'm I'm sure I got your monthlies out. I believe I did do Taurus. Um, also, you guys knew that it was your birthday month. You could always hit me up. Even if you don't see me dropping content, allseeingguytarot at gmail.com is the way to book a reading with me. So a lot of you still book readings with me, even when you don't see me drop content. I'm still going to always work for you guys, okay? So you could always hit me up and say, listen, I want this reading. You know, come talk to me. I need to talk to you. All right? Um, happy belated birthday to all of my Tauruses, okay? And I do apologize that we went retrograde in your month and, and shit got all fucked up. Okay, Linda? All right, so here we go. We got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What's going down? June 3rd to June 17th. Show me what's happening in my Earth energies. Earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, June 3rd through June 17th. Okay. Here we go. All right. Knight of Wands. The Hierophant. Five of Swords. Six of Cups. The Fates. That's the Will of Fortune. Under the Knight of Wands, we got the King of Pentacles. <laughs> Under the Hierophant, we have the Three of Swords. Under the Five of Swords, we have the King of Wands. Okay, under the Six of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups. Under the Will of Fortune, we got the Page of Wands. Overall energy for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Judgment. Alright, so the first thing I was thinking as I'm laying these cards is Pregnancy. I got pregnancy in Capricorn, Taurus. Some of you uh, Virgos are pregnant as well, okay? But there, there's a um, situation. You could be pregnant by a fire sign, okay? This could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. All right. Um, we got the Knight of Wands on the King of Pentacles. So that's kind of like slut blood. Sl <laughs> Look, I can't even say it. Slut button a little bit, okay? Um, being quite promiscuous. Um, hooking up with people. Not using protection. All right, 
looks like it got you all caught up. But um, no matter how much you try to protect yourself or prevent something from happening, it kind of reads to me with this hyperfent and the three of swords is this is something that happened previously. So some of you could find yourself having another child uh, by a fire sign. All right. Having another child by a fire sign or um, getting pregnant a second time, maybe within a year. All right. This is the three of swords. Okay. So this is kind of like um, uh, three times this might have happened to you. All right. Another thing I want to tell you, if you're Capricorn Taurus Virgo, um, if you find yourself pregnant, please, whatever you do, don't get an abortion. All right. The reason I'm telling you not to get an abortion is because this is something that is meant to be. And this is something that will keep returning to you. All right. This child is meant to be here. We have the six of cups and the ten of cups. This child is meant to be here. This child, um, you're pregnant right now, but it's going to play a very significant role later on in life for you. All right. You could be getting rid of your football star or your you know, uh, the next president of the United States. All right. This is a very important pregnancy. This is a returning baby. All right. A returning child, meaning that you may have had an abortion or, uh, maybe you miscarried. I doubt if you miscarried. I think this is more about abortion, you know, trying to end something, um, on your own. Okay. And kind of like being crossed by spirit. We have the five of swords here with the king of wands. I think that, uh, this is you purposefully, trying to end something because maybe you come to a realization uh there's not much communication between you and this fire sign they may be quite immature you know this is somebody you don't really want a child with and spirit is adamant on saying no you're going to keep this baby this is what i want i need this to happen this is very important another thing could be that this and this is going to really throw you off and trip you to fuck out um earth sign if you have a family member, maybe a sister or brother, so somebody that you're very close to that happens to be a Leo or Sagittarius, big Leo energy, big Sagittarius energy, this child is tied to uh, maybe the fate of a Leo or Sagittarius sister or brother that you're very close to. Okay, that's what I mean. It might trip you to fuck out. Like, what do me having a baby got to do with my sister or brother, Leo or Sag? Like, what the fuck is that about? Okay, like I said, it's appointed for, a, you know, a later date. You're not going to understand it all right now. But what you need to remember and what you need to do is continue to birth that child. You know, go forward with the pregnancy. Um, maybe some of you have gotten rid of it. And when you got rid of it, you kind of threw off whoever this is, this Leo Sagittarius. We got the five of swords here. So you might have uh, crossed them and threw their life off. It could also be as well. I'm looking in family. We have the ten of cups tied to this king of wands. So that's how I know it's probably a sister or a brother. And then we have the six of cups. So this could be two babies trying to come in at the same time. All right. Or this could be like two babies that are very... Um, close in age or going to be close. So let's say um, Capricorn Taurus, um, maybe you're pregnant right now and then you have a sister or a brother who happens to be a Leo or Sagittarius and they're not pregnant yet, but they're going to get pregnant. All right. And maybe you were pregnant by the same individual last year and you got an abortion and it came back around again on you. Okay. Because some things that we have to do in life is not really about us. Sometimes it's about other individuals, other people that are here to do great work. You may be a spirit guide to your sister or your brother, your Leo sister or um, Sagittarius brother or something like that. Okay. All right. So even if it's your brother, he may be getting someone else pregnant around the same time. I just know your babies are going to be very close in age with the six of cups and the ten of cups coming. Okay. Then we have the wheel of fortune and we have the page of wands. So, um, I'm going to tell you this. There might have been a simple, uh, quick breakup between you and this person that you're pregnant by. Okay. Let me pull some. I got to pull on this King of Wands, please. I got to. Clarify this King of Wands for me, please. The Page of Pentacles. Tell me more. The Four of Swords. One more. One more. King of Cups. Okay, so this is how you can determine if your child or your pregnancy has anything to do with if you have a sister or brother who happens to be a Leo Sagittarius, okay, and you're very close to this person. You will know if I'm talking to you because 
your Leo or Sagittarius sister or brother could be waiting for a water sign, okay? A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and they're not communicating at this time. All right, so I know you may not understand how an abortion could uh, affect the relationship between this Leo, Sagittarius, and uh, Cancer, Pisces um, individual, but it does, okay? It does in some way, and it can be, it doesn't have anything to do with you guys, meaning you or your sister, you or your brother. It has everything to do with the two babies that are coming, the Six of Cups with the Ten of Cups, all right? This is something big, very big. Uh, these kids uh, it kind of reminds me of Jesus and John the Baptist. It might be two boys, okay, that are coming in together, all right? Um, also, looking at the three fates, uh, well, the Will of Fortune, uh, looking at the Wheel of Fortune with the Page of Wands, um, some of you, you're, you're pretty pregnant right now, maybe even five months. Um, yeah, you're probably about five months. I'm going to say five months at this time. So it kind of looks like maybe you jumped and actually carried this child. Because, see, if I told you everything I see in this, it would probably fuck you up for real. Because um, it looks like to me, maybe around last year, this time, maybe you were pregnant before, but you didn't make it this far because you had an abortion before. Okay. Now it kind of looks like this baby is definitely coming. And what it does is it sets something in motion with the, uh, it's probably this person here. Let, let me, let me break down this. Okay. Can you clarify that three fates to me? Let me clarify that will of fortune. Ooh, here we go. Look at that. Hierophant, king of swords. Okay, so this is definitely something that spirit um, is involved with. Um, as well as, hold up, let me let me get down. Break me down on that king of swords. There could be a Libra in your life too. Maybe an ex-Libra. Clar clarify that king of swords for me. The hermit. Yeah, separation from a Libra. Hold on. Temperance and the eight of swords. Okay, and this is on the fates. All right, so if you go back to my Libra, Gemini, Aquarius reading. Some of you have an ex that happens to be a Libra. I'm going to say Libra. Libra, Aquarius, something like that. Like, like a very masculine energy, very strong energy. Um, Libra, I see the scale, so it's Libra. I'm going to say Libra. You got a Libra ex that thought that you guys were going to come back together. It's a very important relationship between you and this Libra, but it is... It's set for an appointed time. So at the time that this Libra may have thought you guys were going to get back together recently, Spirit did not want that to happen, okay? Because, like I said, there's something going on with this pregnancy, all right? So you got to have this child or, or something like that. But we have this Eight of Swords being here, meaning that you couldn't move forward. You couldn't reconcile. Temperance is about reconciliation, okay? Um, it's also about uh, not being overbearing or not giving too much spirit separated the two of you libra capricorn taurus virgo separated you two and you guys it looks like it almost looks like maybe a karmic soulmate relationship and it's from the past and you guys may have broken up like i said you may have been separated maybe two years three years or something like that and you thought or he thought you guys were going to come back together recently, but they can't, okay? Because you are pregnant and you're in the midst of something else uh, with this with this child, uh, with this baby. Clarify that page of wands. I feel like I'm not making sense. Help me out, spirit. Empress. See that? Empress on a page of wands and a six of swords. Something with this child. Uh, for instance, and this is on a page of wands. Maybe you're pregnant right now by an Aries, a younger Aries. I'm going to say Aries or Sagittarius. All right? You're pregnant by a younger person who um, you like the person, but when you get pregnant by this person, it's like, oh, hell no. I can't see a future with this person. So you went off and you got an abortion last time. Now it's come around again. Now you've made up your mind and you're going to keep this child. However, it looks like recently spirit may have separated you for a few months, okay, from that Aries Sagittarius person. And when they separated you, maybe that's when this Libra, I'm going to say Libra, Libra came back into your life thinking that you guys were going to reconcile. And that may be the first time that that person found out you were pregnant, okay? They're there more so as a... Um, 
I don't think they confronted you or that they were rude to you, okay? I think that they uh, more so came in to give you energy or to stop you from getting an abortion because it's so important that you have this child. And I wish I can tell you everything, but I can't, okay? I, I can't really... Uh, ex expose everything not right now okay because you're still very early in pregnancy and you still could get an abortion if you you know if you really wanted to I, I don't know how you would if you're about five to six months right now I mean but there's some people that do it okay I don't think it would be worth it I mean you gotta still deliver that child it's a whole baby right now so I'm gonna revisit this and I know I'm going to revisit this situation for you guys, you earth signs. If you're in that type of situation, we have the judgment card being the overall energy. And the judgment is about coming to a realization what it all was for. You know, like, oh my God, I had an epiphany. Now I realize why I keep getting pregnant by this person who I really don't like. But they were sort of sent in by the Libra, your Libra X. Okay, so you might have got pregnant by Aries Sagittarius who was sent in. Part of your soul group from this Libra ex-partner, all right? Maybe this Libra, something might be wrong with them, meaning they can't have more children or something. You know, your energies don't match very well, so they can't, they couldn't get you pregnant when you guys were together. So this Aries Sagittarius sort of acts as a, a intercessor for the two of you, all right? So you give birth to this baby, and then you think you're going to go on and be with the Aries Sagittarius, but no. I think someone else is going to come along and raise that kid. I'm already talking too much, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Let's just leave it alone. <sighs> Sometimes I just see too far. I don't know how to see shallow. <laughs> I don't know how to see it shallow, you know, like to not tell too much. The more I talk, the more it just keeps unfolding. All right, so anyway, that's where I have you at right now, okay? So Taurus and Capricorn is going through this energy more than anyone. I'm going to say Taurus and Capricorn, all right? Now, as far as Virgo is concerned, um, I'm, I'm going to throw this in there, Virgo, and I want you to listen to me very closely. If you are a Virgo and you happen to be connected with an air sign at this time, okay? So, you're, you're, you're a Virgo and your partner happens to be Gemini, all right, or Libra, okay, or even Aquarius. I don't see much happening other than um, maybe you have some temptation coming in from an ex-wife, an ex-husband. Um, I want you to stay focused, all right, Virgo? This is my message to you. Stay focused and do not get pulled off of your uh, path, off your chosen path. This is an ex-wife, ex-husband for a reason. And despite the fact that they may have told you that they've changed, they're only there to knock you off of your path that you're going down right now. And recently, you may have uh, noticed some friction in your relationship, Virgo, okay? Uh, recently, you may have noticed some friction especially if you're with gemini we had the retrograde that just happened um and i believe the two signs that are most affected when a retrograde hits is virgo and gemini all right the whole mercury element going on okay um it's going to get better in your relationship okay as you move forward you are with the one for you at this time and it is not meant for you to go back towards that x all right because we have to have a fit with the three of swords so it's meant to cut that off all right um, do not go t towards that ex. If you're feeling as if, you know, you're not getting everything out of your current relationship, like I said, it's temporary with all the energies that were going on uh, recently. But as time go on, today's June 4th, it's going to get a lot better in your relationship, okay? You just need to be strong and uh, continue to reject the past. You being a Virgo, Virgo, you're always about perfectionists, all right? Perfectionism. You want everything perfect. Okay, so why would you go back to an ex who have already destroyed it? All right, they wouldn't be an ex-wife or husband unless you have traveled every avenue you can travel with that person and realize that there's never going to be any change. So I just needed to tell you that just to remember that you've already traveled every avenue that you can travel with this ex-wife or ex-husband. And there's no way possible that you could work it out. And that's why you got a divorce. All right. Now that you're running into problems with your new relationship, like I said, it is only because whenever a retrograde hits and you are a Virgo dating a Gemini, it is going to cause havoc in your household. But it's temporarily. It only lasts like 30 days at most. You know what I'm saying? So is it worth tearing up your relationship with your, you know, other half? No, I'll say no. All right, stay where you are, okay? Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. You want a personal reading? All seeing eye tarot at gmail.com. 
you want to win a free 30 minute reading make sure you timestamp below in the comment section okay i love you so much i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you very soon